Good afternoon, I'm Mike Powers. 30 years, that's how long Shane Price will spend behind bars for stealing from hundreds of Albuquerque homes. News 13's David Romero is live at District Court in Albuquerque with the latest. David? Mike, the judge heard from both Price's victims as well as his family as to how much time he should serve for his crimes. In the end, Judge Denise Barella Shepard handed down 57 years, 30 of which Price, also known as Shane Litton, will serve in the Department of Corrections. Price pleaded guilty to 31 felony counts of residential burglary, including stolen credit cards, identity theft, and various related crimes between August and December of 2008. He was known by Albuquerque police as one of the top five offenders. This big case drew big attention from City Hall as Mayor R.J. Berry and Chief Ray Schultz from APD came out for the sentencing. Victims voiced their pleas for a maximum sentence saying that Price stole more than material possessions. He stole a sense of security. City officials also hope that the tough sentence will make others understand these types of crimes will not be tolerated. This is not a nonviolent crime. And, and we hope it sends a message to others who are out there thinking that you can just get over on the system because this is a, a property crime that you won't. Now, Price's family, as well as Shane Price himself, made their pleas to Judge Denise Barella Shepard, saying that the meth, his addiction to meth, was the cause for his drug, his crime spree, rather, and he must serve a minimum of 15 years out of that 30-year sentence. Afterwards, he must also serve five years supervised probation. Mike, back to you. Okay, David, thank you. Now, Price has not admitted to police who his accomplices in the burglaries were. We'll have more reaction from victims as well as Price's family in later newscasts.